This is astonishing. An earthquake mystery. A magnitude 5.8 Richter earthquake rocked Istanbul for 50 days and yet goes unnoticed. This is on Express UK by Luke Hawker. Now Istanbul is one of the worst places to have an earthquake because that is a very uh, major fault line, the Anatolia Fault, which is a super shear fault. It gives huge earthquakes, just like the San Andreas is a super shear fault. And we've made videos on super shear faults a few days ago. They give sonic booms. They go as fast, the rate of the earthquake uh, goes as fast as a jet airplane. Uh, when you hear the sonic boom, and you know that's from an earthquake, it gives you a couple seconds to take count, uh, 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 cover somewhere, like under a door frame or under a table or a chair, to uh, protect yourself for the big one that's coming a couple of seconds, just a couple of seconds later. Now, Turkey was struck by a 5.8 magnitude quake, a 50-day earthquake that remarkably nobody felt. This is what the new research has revealed. This is by, as we said, on, uh, by Luke Hawker. Now, the rare event occurred in Istanbul during the summer of 2016. It lasted an incredible 50 days. This is according to a new study in Earth and Planetary Science Letters. This is a, it was called a phantom quake. This phantom quake left geologists stunned and it's even believed to have been caused when a fault line running under the sea of Marmaras slipped. Uh, Istanbul is uh, on the sea and uh, there's a part of it that goes onto uh, a, st a narrow strait called the Vosporos Strait and that leads to the Black Sea. So, yeah, the uh, quake was under the sea and uh, it's believed to have been caused by the fault line running under the Sea of Marmaras and that's what slipped, leading to a slow earthquake. In most instances, deadly earthquakes are caused when two tectonic plates that are sliding in opposite directions along the fault stick and then slip suddenly. Meanwhile, slow earthquakes happen in more stable regions around the fault and can release similar amounts of energy over a prolonged period. The study was conducted by Patricia Martinez Garzon and her team, and they used boreholes in the Sea of Marmara filled with strain meters that picked up this surface disturbance. She told National Geographic, quote, you could call them phantom quakes, end quote. Lucille Brahat, an earthquake physics researcher at the École Normale, Normale Supérieure in Paris, said that these reactions are very common and are most of the times harmless. Now, attempting to explain the science behind the phenomenon, she said, a good analogy for this is when someone walks on a wooden floor on the floor above you. But she says, we cannot see them, but we can track the motion using the sounds of the wood cracking. Miss Bruhat, Bruhat also said that the longest slow slip ever event to occur was rec recorded in Alaska, and it produced a magnitude 7.8 that took at least nine years to come to an end. Unbelievable. These incidents are more common in North America with the province of Cascadia, known to register slow-slip earthquakes with a magnitude of six, which can last two to three weeks and repeat every 15 months. Meanwhile, in New Zealand, the capital city, Wellington, a magnitude of seven has been recorded, but as they usually take 12 to 18 months to take place, they once again go unnoticed. Now, a link between these small-scale eruptions and larger eruptions is yet to be established, but uh, Ms. Brew had added, we have no idea how to distinguish an ultra-rare slow-slip event that would trigger a large earthquake from a harmless one.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.